What is up, my good people? The name is Pixel Love, and I finally have made it to Winters. Finally, and this time with my whole crew. I saw you once before, just for a second. You know my fiance. Fiance loves to chew gum. He went to visit Dr. And the Nuts last, but he hasn't returned yet. I want to go there so I can get him home, but without him, I can't cross Lake Tess. I'm really worried that the mad doctor will use him when the crash test. Fuck, that's right! I can't cross the lake without him! But, I should be able to have some very good equipment here. Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Non-stick fry pan. Oh, I just bought the chef's fry pan for Paula. God! Damn it. Anyways, I will be right back so I can go get my money. And I can go charge my headphones because they're almost dead. Alright, so I'm done with what I need to do over here. Managed to get myself a new bat, a coin of silence. Another new weapon for Paula. I kind of feel stupid for buying the chef's fry pan now, but whatever. Another platinum band and whatnot. And Jeff now has a coin of silence as well, so everything should be coming up my way. And uh, like like I said before, I, I don't think I'm able to cross the lake without that freaking bubblegum monkey or whatnot, but I'm just going to check out Winters for the most part, see if I can do anything else over here. What the fuck is that? What? What is this new enemy? <laughs> uh, Jeff, can we get a spy over here? Can you tell me what the hell is going on? Vulnerable to PSI freeze. Oh, really? Shit. Uh, let's try a regular freeze on her. On him. On it. Whatever. And why don't you kill that chill for us, Jeff, my boy? What? What do you mean it didn't work? What do you mean? It just said it used a shield! I, there's clearly a lot of things going on that I still have no clue what, what there's just so much that I still need to learn and whatnot. A woolly shell. Is this really how I'm gonna be starting off? Why are we missing people? Please! Why do we keep missing all of our attacks? Oh, not the teddy bear! What the teddy bear do to you? Freeze! Yeah, there we go. Freeze! Could be worse. Anyways, I'll continue looking around winters, and if I find anything interesting, I'll tell you guys. BRB. Why is my stupid thing still drifting? Alright, I finally made it back to these guys. Let's see what they have to say. Where are you, my friend? They came and took you away. Come back, Sebastian. Hey, that's a haiku poem. Alright, are they talking about Jeff? I finally saw Tessie! It's like seeing a UFO! It emerged from the lake and flew towards Stonehenge. It kidnapped one of my friends along the way. Why, hello! I wonder if there are any monkeys around. You know, they say that Tessie is friendly with monkeys. Yeah. I think Jeff knows. I mean, Jeff was literally, he literally had a monkey with him that called up a Montessi. But are they referring to Tessie? Are they referring to Tessie who took Jeff away or are they referring to... <sighs> Why is this man still alive? Get out of my way! Anyways, as I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. Did one of their friends get taken by Tessie or are they referring about Jeff? <laughs> like, I can understand that they call Jeff like Sebastian or not because they don't know Jeff's fucking name. I know what Tessie thinks of me. You think my name will make it into the newspaper? 
I don't know about that, Chief. You saw Tessie, but did you take a picture? That's the real question. Tessa, Tessie appeared again today and smiled at me. Ooh, story, my G. Oh yeah, that's the way we. Uh, that's the way I supposed to came from. But I can't wait for Tessie here, can I? Yeah, because because the fucking monkey ain't here. Fucking bubblegum monkey ape isn't here. Even if I did have my bubblegum with me, he probably wouldn't even show up because, well, he has to know that I'm there, and I doubt he would. Which means. <laughs> Which means that I have to go back to Threed. Now the question is, do I even have the luxury of being able to teleport all the way back to Threed from here? I don't. Which means I'm gonna have to walk all the way back up to where, uh, to where the fucking dormitory is just to teleport out of here. Fuck me, I guess. Okay, in theory. In theory, from this axis, I should be able to go back to three. Oh my god, that almost made my heart sink. If I was not going to be able to get back to three through that teleportation, I don't know what I would have done. But I'm back in three. Cool, I guess. And the hotel is all the way up there. God damn it! <laughs> I honestly didn't have anything else to do in winters. Honestly, I've just kind of gone in there and like took a beating and whatnot. So it's nice to be back with people. I came from Foresight by bus. Buffalo? Oh yeah, I saw a lot. It's awesome. I told you the wrong band name before. I said Runaway Fire. The real name is Runaway Five. My girlfriend corrected me. I've never seen these people here before. I forgot how much the hotels cost. Fuck me, I guess. Also, I blew through a lot of money. <laughs> I was at like 7k at the start. 7 point, like 7.5, 7.6k at the start. Oh shit, oh, no, my controller! Zombie gives birth to a hawk child. Oh lord. Anyways. I still don't know what I have to do here in Threed. I know that Apple Kid said something about working on the phase distorter, working with Dr. And and so whatnot. So I'm assuming that I need to either go the summers through that. I don't want to make any sense. If I go through the waterfall through Saturn Valley, that just puts me to Belch's factory, and then Belch's factory is just bringing me back to Saturn Valley, which is then the Milky. Uh, Milky Well, something like that? I don't know. There's also this thing. There's also the, um... Big hole right over here. Just out of curiosity. Because this is the only way... This is technically the only way Apple Kid can actually go to fucking Dr. Andonuts. Because the City of Foresight is walled off. There's nothing can go out of Foresight other than going to three, so. Hey! My assumption was correct. Paint it over. Oh shit, no! Paint it over all the damaged parts of the Skyrunner. Now I wonder how you start this thing up. I want you to stay, but if you can't, so long. Thanks for every little old thing. Wait a minute, weren't these guys- didn't they, these guys from 3 say they'd do whatever they can to help me? <laughs> so they rebuilt the Skyrunner? Let's see if it works. Ah, here's a problem. It's not too tough to fix. Hang on for a second or two. There, that should do it. Now if we board, the Skyrunner will take us back to Winters. With Dr. Andonuts' help, I can modify the machine to fly the Summers. Dad. I mean, Dr. Andonuts is not available. I'll have to figure it out by myself. Anyway, let's go back to the lab in Winters. That's it. 
Go machine, go! I like my boy Jeff, honestly, he's really starting to grow on me. I really do feel bad that his dad, Dr. Andonuts, just kind of left him. <laughs> he left him in the dormitory just to go work on his science, what, whatchamacallit, the one else. And like, I get it, his work is important, but he has a child for crying out loud. Like, give Jeff some love and whatnot. I've gotten more accustomed with Jeff than I have with Lloyd, I'll definitely say that. It took me a while to get <laughs> it took me a while just to get accustomed with Lloyd. But just a man. Jeff, why are we going over Dusty Dunes Desert? I know you did this last time, but there's no reason why we need to be this close to the floor. This close to the ground. Just put us back in the stratosphere and then we'll be able to get to winters there. I need to BS it around. And technically speaking, if I go... Oh, there's four sides. Dude, dude. Like I said before with the, like I said before with the desert. No reason to stay here. Just stay in the stratosphere. What was I saying? Oh, yes. Because we're going back to Winters, back to Dr. Andonauts' lab, we'll actually be able to go to the part of Winters where I didn't... I wasn't able to explore because of the stupid bubble monkey Tessie thingamajig. And how did you manage to make your way back there? You literally said <laughs> you couldn't find him. Thanks for taking care of my husband the other day. Oh yes, we finally tied the knot. Honey, don't just stand there with your mouth open. Say hello. So, you passed by a cave north of Stonehenge. Don't you ever wonder what's inside? I can't seem to stop thinking about it. Go and see what's there. We're going to get out of here. We're still newlyweds, you know. B -b bye I need to get the... Wait, do I even have... To... Dr. Andonuts has to have a phone. I need to find a way to call Escargot Express to get that pencil eraser back. Hey, yo, Pops, we're here. Why do you have this goblin with you? Oh, you surprised me. You're Ness, aren't you? Jeff what's his bed sometimes, but other than that, he's a good boy. Take care of yourself. And Jeff, the bubble monkey said there's a cave north of Stonehenge. I've known about it for a long time. The locals call it the Rainy Circle, but I haven't been there. I wonder what's inside the cave. I, uh, huh? I understand. Oh, you're checking out that place. I'll work on remodeling the Skyrunner. Oh, yes, yes. My coworker, Bigfoot, dislikes violence. He's such a nice guy, and he loves people. He often shares his beef jerky with me. Booga, 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 booga! Bottle of DX water? It's DX water. Ah, yes, the instant revitalization machine. Thank you very much. Would you look at that? There is a phone there. I don't know, I'm wondering, I wouldn't be able to technically fix anything here because even though the instant revitalization machine instantly revitalizes me, Jeff works throughout the night to fix shit, so I wouldn't be able to fix anything in here, right? I need a delivery, thank you very much Tracy. I would very much love, like to have my... Not pack a bubble gum, not laser gun. I would very like, much like to have my pencil. Ah, you see the bag of dragonites right there. It's right there. I wasn't like, I would like to have my pencil eraser back. Nothing more, nothing less. I just want my pencil eraser. And that's all I need. And I really like the theme of winters. I like it way more than the monkey case of fucking Talarama. Mamma mia! Excargo Express is here! Thank you very much. You kids don't look very bright. Let me explain. These stones are making a pattern. It's called Stonehenge. UFOs often visit here. You must have seen it on TV or read about it on tabloids. Yes, that Stonehenge. So what, are we in England or something? Is that why everything's so cold? Now I just remembered something. Technically there's something down here. 
technically there's something down here as well, but isn't it like an iron shaped pencil eraser? Not. <laughs> it is! An iron shaped pencil eraser. Can I use it? Oh well. But. I still am right that the pencil eraser needs to be used on that iron pencil statue up north. Are these guys friendly? No, they're not very friendly. Cave Boy and its cohort. Ah, yes, I remember Cave Boy. He took an absolute beating. Mighty Bear 7. Um. If we just do this, this man has a lot of health. 26 damage, let's go! I love it when shit does no damage and I waste so much of my resources. It's not even gonna be worth the XP, is it? No, I just wasted 18 uh, PSI points just for nothing. Cool! This is the force your sanctuary. I forgot about this. I forgot about this dipshit. Shroom attack. Now, I have no clue what's gonna happen here. I really don't. But it doesn't hurt to use a PSI flash, right? Now, let's see here. Let's see. I'm right next to the lab, so I can just go back and just go ham, right? Yes, thank you very much. I really like my psychic shield. Let's see what Shroom has. Vulnerable to PSI fire. Did not work on Shroom, cool. Shit! No! Actually... How how hard can I rock this man's world? I'm gonna just throw everything at him. Why the why the fuck not? Big ball rocket time! That's not as much damage as I thought it would happen. Wow. I kinda suck! And he still managed to heal. Well, I still have all this PSI, so might as well make it a use. Big ol' bottle rocket time. There we go, that's what I want to see. The 400 damage! That's what I like to see, baby! That's what 40 psychic points should be able to do. Not a measly 200. 400, I want to see 400s. This is the rainy circle they were talking about, isn't it? I kind of thought it was the cave even more north of here, but I guess I'm wrong. This one. So I just realized you could see the door outline of that cave on the left. I don't know if you could see it. I might zoom in. If I need to, I'll bring up the brightness, but... Oh, I caught a... Wait a minute, what, what is it? What did it say? I didn't read it. I caught a whiff of steak. Can I read it? I caught a whiff of steak, but just for a second. Bro, I would really love some steak right now. On God. Yes. Alright, so. Did what I needed. Why is there so many enemies here? What is going on? Strong crocodile. And just bash him. That's what I like to see, Paula. Ow, is this thing not dead yet? Just realized Paula's also 165 on both things. And she leveled up. Let's go, baby! Anyways, I am. I am not here to try. God damn it! 
I am not here to try and fight these people. I am here to try and go up north. Even more north. More north than usual. I'm gonna need you guys to bugger off, really. Move out of the way. God! Why aren't these guys moving out of the way? What is going on here? What is going on here? Why aren't you moving out of the way? Oh, would you look at that? Paula can finally use her bash and deal upwards of about two of about a hundred damage, one hundred thirty. Double burger. I really don't care about it to be honest. But I will take that level up though. That means Jeff is only getting more smarter. He's only increasing his IQ even more. And it also means that <sighs> Why is my stupid thing drifting? I'm not even touching the analog. But it also means that Jeff's stats are increasing. Seriously, I have no clue why my stupid controller is drifting. I am not touching the analog at it whatsoever. I'm clicking only on the buttons. I hate the fact that I'm going to have to replace these things. Place it. Pencil eraser. You have been erased. Oh, come on! Oh, these guys again. Uh, I know the drill. Just a little bit of bash, just a little bit of PSI freeze beta. Wow, he just got crumbled. Anyways, get the hell out of here. I wanted to see if there's anything up there first, but... What's this? A multi bottle rocket? What? A multi bottle rocket? What? Items for just puff, possibly the strongest weapon. It's massive damage! Ooh, baby, Jeff! You're getting sauced up here. What? Is, is there nothing here for me? Did, did I just come here for nothing? Hello? 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 Is anybody there? Hello? Hopefully some people get the reference. Probably not, but... Fortunately for me, I have the powers of time and space on my hand. So, I... Able... I lost my train of thought there. I am able to just breeze through everything. Also, is is this really it? Did I only use the pencil eraser just to come back to the stupid dungeon again? I really just went through this entire dungeon again. Cool. Waste my time. Fuck you, Brick Road. Wherever you are, fuck you. I mean, at the very least, I was able to... What am I calling it? At the very least... I'm able to get it off my mind. I'm able to get it off my head that I that I finally erased that stupid pencil statue. Now I need to return this back again to Escargo Express. But I'll do that maybe later in the episode. Yes, yes, I I get it. I wait. What did he say? God damn it, I went back too far. I don't want to hear about Jeff wetting the bed. I finished remodeling the Skyrunner. You can leave for summers whenever you wish. It shouldn't break this time. Well, maybe. Well, there's no reason to beat around the bush. I came to Winters for what I need to come to, so it is back to Skyrunner. See you, pups. Take care. Probably won't see you for another good... Who knows how many episodes. Actually, I don't even know what episode I'm on. <laughs> I usually just... I recorded the last episode and just went ahead and recorded this episode in advance because... 
I have the I have the time, and, and, and I'm not hearing any noise outside. You know, I want to be able to record Earthbound. I'm not gonna lie, I want to finish Earthbound as quick, not as quickly as I can, but just soon because I want to play Mother Three. That's the one I want to play. <laughs> but anyways, this looks to be Summers. They said it's on the beach, right? It looks like it's gonna break. It looks like there's... Whatchamacallit? Turbulence? Yeah, that's the word. God! Damn it! Now it looks like it's gone for good, really. Oh, would you look at that? The guy next to me is really bugging me. He keeps following me around. Wake up in the morning, fall in love, eat lunch, fall in love, and at night, fall in love again. That's my dream life. That's cool, Chief. Could not be you. wonder why such serious looking kids as you would come to this resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. What do you mean I'm spoiling the atmosphere? I'm just trying to look around. Looks so serious. You're in Summers, a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. I mean, I wish I could have some fun, but there's a- STOP DRIFTING! Stupid controller. I wish I could relax, but there's an evil, giant, evil looking monster, evil looking, evil thing out there in the world, in time and space. It's my dad, isn't it? Yep. I get it, Pops. I get it. Keep an eye out for bad guys. Wherever. There's a hotel there. I didn't even want to go to the hotel! Why can't this guy leave me alone? I am really getting upset. Like, it was fine and dandy the first few times. I was like, oh, you know, it's just a neat little thing. But, like, dude, please go away. <laughs> please. The sky is blue and the sun is high. The prices here are so high, I'll make your face turn pink. High prices? Also, there has to be a mad taxi right there. I'm not going near that. How high are these prices? How high are these prices? Welcome to Le Hotel de Sommers. My name is Rishushar Richmond, and I am the assistant manager. I'm sorry, sir, but we do not have any reservation. 450! 450! And Foresight's- that's literally twice the amount that I paid in Foresight. Restaurante. What is good, my good people? Kids came here all by yourself? I can make your order to go. Rack and soup. Yeah, why did I have to come to Summers here again? It feels like a spit in the face to me that the fact that all these people get to enjoy life and their money while I'm over here poor, poor as hell. Just, it's not fair. It's not fair. How annoying. Why are you wandering around? Summers is a posh resort made for adults. There's a big monster living in the sea between here and Scaraba. I've seen a picture of it. Are they talking about Tessie? I know Tessie's in Winters, but you never know. Hi, welcome to my store. What do you need? You're gonna buy something, hey? Hmm. 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 This place isn't for looky loose. If you're not buying, get. Dude, ugh, fucking hell. I am really going to have to be tapping in to my life savings account just so I can be able to buy something from here. No, no! <laughs> I lost about 2k! Okay, wait, no. Hold up. Turn back the clocks. 96 is fine. There we go. Anyways, 
I'll be right back to show you my life savings gone. Okay, so I'm back and this is how much I have left. Mind you, I started at around 98,000 and I just blew literally nearly my entire inheritance on this. Well, dad, I don't know, but you I fight a lot of bad guys around here, so you better give me, like, a lot of money back in return and whatnot. But, if you want to know what I got, once again, I upgraded Ness's weapon over here. We now have the, we now have the big league bat. Oh, fuck. There wasn't even any pendants there. I just forgot. But we also have the diamond band. And mind you, the diamond band was $9,998 each. But, on the bright side, that means I don't have to... I don't have to upgrade immediately to the platinum band. And I also bought a lucky coin. And also on the bright side, I save... I save a little bit of money for not having to to buy the platinum band and whatnot. Uh, once again with Paula, diamond band. She was the one who actually had the platinum band, but I upgraded the diamond. Lucky coin. Uh, Mr. Saturn coin was just not it. Lucky coin was better. And same with Jeff, diamond band, and lucky coin. Which means that hopefully from here on out, uh, within like maybe probably this city and maybe like the next two or whatnot, I I'm not gonna be able not, not that I won't be a I'm I'm twisting my words I'm not going to need to use as much money to upgrade my equipment there we go that's what I want to say club stoic this is not the stoic club please be on your way yes I won't necessarily be needing my money from here on out because I already 150? Fuck off. It used to be like 50. Now 150? I am oh, Are you kidding me? I can't even go there. I won't be I won't be needing to use my money. Because I already have good equipment. That's what I'm trying to say here. God. Alright, bearded man. If ye be heading to Scaraba, ye ought to shop here. Things are expensive down there. So what are you so what are ye looking for? What do you like then? Well, it's just pointless. It's worthless. Will ye be needing anything else? I ye will not be needing anything else because it's useless. Anyways. I actually don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here in summers. Completely forgot. All I just know is that supposedly I needed to come here to Summers for something. That's it. That's all I really know. Dinosaurs existed. I saw one. I had been out there. I had been out of the underground when it dried out. Of course it was dead. Believe what I'm saying. Also, I don't know why. This is giving me some Italy vibes. <laughs> Summers is really giving me Italy vibes. Uh, if anything interesting happens, I'll keep you up to date. But I'm just gonna look around Summers, see if there's anything over here that can give me any hints. I realized that I have paused my recording. And I didn't get anything of what was said or what was going on or whatnot. Shit! That's upsetting. That's upsetting. Oh my, that's really upsetting. Anyways, here's what I was able to gather. This guy could probably offer us a boat ride, but his wife just is not working on her magic cake business or whatnot. This guy gave me a secret number to a club. A club that supposedly this guy's wife is in instead of... Paying attention to her business or whatnot. And also, poor guy, he's lost all interest in discussing with her. I believe this guy was telling me about 
that there's a little, that there's a town across the sea called Scaraba, and but the reason why nobody really wants to go there, the reason why this guy didn't even want to send a boat to begin with, is because there's a kraken in the middle. And I also had to fight a, with a crazy taxi. And Ohio was fighting against me as well. You are not going to understand a word that I'm saying, but trust me when I say that I was fighting against Ohio. It's a minia bird. The guy next to me is really bugging me. Oh, okay. I'm assuming these guys just repeat the same thing over and over. But man, that's upsetting. <laughs> That's upsetting that I realize I've been talking and this thing wasn't even recording. Oh fuck. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. We have Ohio over here trying to beat the living shit out of me. Well guess what buddy? You're gone. <laughs> you're toast. You're gone. Just like that. Easy. Hopefully I didn't stop the recording for too long. Hopefully. Thank you again, Poe. Um, Mr. Ness. Fuck. Pokey's been here. You're kidding me. And you're kidding me. There's no black phone here. There's only the green phone. I came here because I thought there was going to be a black phone. God damn it. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Ness, Sarah, would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you there. Thank you. Man, I just wasted a dollar for nothing. Look at me now. I'm not 9,991. I want to have the four digits all be the same. Anyways, I can't stand Summers right now. It's just very snob. It's very rich. It's very ugh. Bougie. It's bougie as fuck. Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to ex explicate the fact that your reputation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. Cool, I'm gonna just act like I know what you said. Finally awaken the inner me, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard, enough to burn a hole in their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my super ego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, or at no time. My, my, my id is telling me? Okay, this is a little too much. Way too much. Show? It's already started. Everyone stares at the stone on stage and philosoph philosophizes. Whatever. Doesn't it sound stupid? You don't understand what the hey everyone is talking about, do you? I don't either, but I try to be patient with the customers. They pay high prices just for a glass of water. And the chance to have serious intellectual discussions? Actually, it's an easy business. Want a drink? They only serve water, though. Hey, I'll take the water. You know, I haven't eaten or drinking anything in the last... Three, four hours? Because I've been playing? You know, I really want to eat some magic cake. It's a mysterious work of art that I can't get that cake off my mind. There's only one woman who can make magic cake. She's hanging out in this club. Yeah, she's over there at the entrance. Anyway, the absolute irony and study of self-identification is blah, blah, blah. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either, Chief. You guys can envision the final collapse of capitalism? Let's go, sir! Yes, sir! Communism! I've been... I've been saying we need to be communist for years. I was the original communist. I've been saying that we needed to be communist for... How long? Seven years? <laughs> Incredible. Hmm. I think it's a very complicated issue. Oh, sorry. I was sleeping. Okay. What now? They said somebody near the entrance. Are, are you talking about her? Yes, yes, I get it. Your inner psyche. Blah, blah. Wait! I didn't get to see it! What? Magic cake? 
You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Of course I did! If it is actually cake. Why don't you stop by a little cart out on the beach later? A little cart on the beach? Oh no, there's Ohio. Leave me alone, Ohio! I'm more of an Illinois type of guy. Butterfly! Butterfly! Let me get it! Dude! I'm skipping this. I've already bitched enough. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this butterfly. As you said, wait out by this little cart. We got some really spectacular things. What would you like? Gelato the resort. Really eat here. Is this not the cart that you're talking about? Is that a cart in the beach? Where is it? Where is this cart? So many things that look similar on the map. I wish I could see where it is. You know, I've only been to the beach like maybe once in my life, I think. Yeah, so either once or twice. Probably only once, yeah. I'm thinking about it. I was like, how many times have I actually been to the ocean? It's once. I was trying to take a nap in the shade. Don't bother me. Hey, fuck you. I don't know. I, I just never really had the opportunity to head out to the beach, you know? And now that I'm here in Earthbound, I don't want to go back because it's just gonna be filled with snobby, rude ass rich motherfuckers. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake? I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic. Yeah. 